What's going on guys? Figure I'd show you what I got going on today. So first thing I noticed is I have a pair in the middle of spawning back here and I just kind of fucked with them, of course. This pair uh, laid eggs last night sometime. If you can tell on the leaf there. Uh, what I do is I use about a 12 to 14 inch section of garden hose um, and I cut that off and then I use a piece of hanger and create a little hook. Make sure the hanger has some type of plastic protective thing over it that way it doesn't rust or you could just use a plastic hanger or any other type of clipping device mechanism. I put the date on there when uh, they spawn that way I can keep track as you can imagine with multiple uh, pairs you can kind of lose track of what's going on and you can kind of let, let it roll but it's nice to know what day you're on and everything else here's another pair this is the male and this is the female I got these fish from Angel Mania at the, about the, of the size of a pea uh, if you don't know who Lee Gordon is he's a pretty good breeder uh, he's into Filipino blues and wild crosses if you don't know who he is man you're slacking uh, dude, like I said, is pretty young and he produces some killer angelfish, man. Just Google his name and look at the angels and you'll see what I'm talking about. Here's another pair. Male and female. Now, I provide uh, some fake plants in there, a, a little bunch of fake plants, and I got these from the Dollar Tree. So for a buck, you have a fake plant. It's easy to clean, move around. Yeah, I could go with the Nubius, but them are rather expensive, and I'm not big balling like that. To fill a clump of a Nubius like that is, is a good 20 to 40 bucks. Um, also, what I do before they get their fry to wiggler stage is I actually put gravel in the bottom of these tanks, and that's because the gravel is a nice home for that good nitri uh, nitrifying beneficial bacteria. Uh, more surface area, more bacteria. And what happens is when the fish poop, it's actually, it drops to the bottom into the gravel and it's in contact with that bacteria, which helps break it down. Uh, if not, you have to go in there every single day and suck poop up uh, because you, first of all, you see it. And second of all, it's in contact with such a little amount of bi biological bacteria that it doesn't break down fast. As you can see right here, we've got some poopy. So another tank, this one's actually awaiting some new arrivals that I've got coming. It's a fish that I've never owned before, so I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, stay tuned and keep up if you wanna if you wanna see what I've got coming in. I'm pretty excited about it, man. I'm freaking pumped about it. Like I said, never owned it. When you never own a fish and you get it for the first time, I don't care if it's like a different species of pleco you've never owned before. You're pretty amped about it. This is uh, my little mess around tank. I actually breed guppies in here and I use the guppies for feeder fish, for the angelfish, believe it or not. So my investment for this was simply buying two nice pregnant, already pregnant, big female guppies from the fish store. And I think they were like a buck, a buck fifty a piece. So for three dollars, you know, I have hundreds and hundreds of guppies and these guys just continuously spit out guppies to where I have babies everywhere. And uh, I save the biggest and best female uh, babies and use them as breeders and keep the cycle going. And here I have another live bear, uh, Variatus platys. And I just like the, way the female look, the black tuxedo platys. Um, but this female, particular female, had a lot of green uh, incandescent green in the black so like each scale itself would be like an incandescent green uh, bordered by black and it looked gnarly as fuck so I, I, I got it and uh, yeah I've got a bunch of little babies in there and here I'm not sure if these are koi uh, fry or goldfish fry I'll have to grow them out a bit to see uh, but I'm leaning towards more of the goldfish fry Shitty. I wish they were koi because there's about nine in there. That'd be a nice little, a nice little, you know, thing to have. Um, the this tank also has red cherry shrimp in it, and this is the same 
a red cherry shrimp colony from uh, about nine years ago and the tip and secret of that is give your shrimp away to other people your friends family members whoever has a tank um, give them shrimp because if something ever goes wrong in your life or your tank uh, sometimes we, we people got to move we got to do stuff uh, just we don't have tanks we shit happens man and even within the tank heaters break shit breaks down and you end up losing your stock if you give your stock away to people especially how easy and uh, rapidly shrimp multiply you will have shrimp forever because your shrimp are on ice you can go back now and be like hey can I you know you have a thousand shrimp now and I gave you these shrimp you know you mind throwing me ten and I'm sure there will be no problem there at all um yeah so that's pretty much it I think we should do a bit of underwater for you guys so guess what that's what we're gonna do a bit of underwater filming